Welcome everyone to fix lag in the iOS 17. The first tip is to just leave your phone off for a couple of hours. The reason why this works is because after a fresh update, Apple is optimizing all of your applications in the background. And while that optimization happens, your battery is going to get hot, which means your phone gets hot, and that means that your phone is going to run slower than it should. And if you've waited a couple of hours, but the phone is still feeling slow, then the first thing is we're gonna open up the settings and inside of the settings, I want you to swipe down from the top so we can see the search bar. And we need to search for reduce, and then we see here, reduce motion. And if we tap on the reduce motion and we turn this one on, now we have essentially removed the animations from our phone. And so this means everything should feel a lot snappier. But of course, the animations, they're gone. So that is uh, quite a big issue. But it is something that you may want to sacrifice if your phone is feeling slow and you want it to run faster. Head to the home page of settings and from here I want you to scroll all the way down until you see mail and in mail what we're going to do is we're going to locate accounts and then we see this one fetch new data if you have push on Every single second, your iPhone is going to contact Apple servers, contact Google servers, contact Microsoft servers. Is there new mail? And this will happen literally every second. So turn off push, number one, and fetch. You can have this set to automatically, or you can have this set to manually. I set this to manually, so only when I open the mail app will it show new mail, in no way will I be notified. But if you do want to be notified, then maybe every 15 minutes, every half an hour, once an hour, what you choose is really up to you. But I personally just turn this one all off and I check the mail. That's when I'm reading mail. No mail is really time sensitive to me. Heading back to the homepage of settings, let's go into where it says general and then where it says background app refresh. If this one is on, then your apps are gonna be loading up files, downloading files, loading data, all in the background. And while this is happening, it's going to cause lag. Now really it shouldn't, but if you are having issues, then I would advise that you just turn off apps that you don't need background app refresh for. So we need to think, if I'm not open in the app, let's say I'm on the home screen, should this app be downloading content? That's something you need to decide. In my case, let's say I'm playing chess and I go to the home screen and that chess game is still running, then I want background app refresh for chess because then when the player moves, that's gonna be updated on my screen. I won't be disconnected. But something like, you know, the Apple Store, what does it need to update in the background? Probably nothing, so you turn that one off. Really depends what apps you do or don't do in this situation. Back in the home page of settings, let's scroll all the way down until we see battery. And if you have low power mode on, you're gonna want to turn this one off. Low power mode, it's just gonna make your iPhone overall run slower. It will improve your battery life, great, but the phone's gonna run slower. And this is a video on how to solve lag, not how to solve battery. And that's just something you kind of have to balance when it comes to iPhone. Do you want the best battery life or do you want the best performance? If you have a newer iPhone, you don't have to worry about that. And that brings you to the final thing. If you have an iPhone and it's on its last legs, it's on its final software release, let's say you have iPhone XS or XR, then the lag in iOS 17 is because 
the software is only made for the newer iPhones. So I have the iPhone 14 Plus. This is the latest iPhone at the time of recording. Very soon, the iPhone 15s will be the latest. And so if you have the iPhone XS that released in 2018, it's got a bunch of software updates, but Apple, it, it doesn't sound nice to say, but they do not care about you, okay? They've released the software, they've made it work, they're not interested in making it work well. And so you may just need to upgrade your iPhone. If you're not happy with this lag, you know, the app support will stop soon eventually. Then you may just want to consider getting an Android and switching away from iPhone. But if you love iPhone, keep what you're using or just upgrade to a newer iPhone where you're going to have guaranteed better performance. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.